What's good YouTube, Dawson here from JD Hunters with my boy Joe as always and we are back with another video and today we're actually going to be starting a new series here on the channel and as you guys can probably tell from the title it's going to be called Cop or Drop. So what we're doing with this series basically is it's going to be a way for us to talk about new releases, figures that are announced, that are up for pre-order, things like that. Today we guys know you love the Black Series here on this channel, you guys know me and Joe are big Black Series collectors. And this week we actually got a huge reveal from Hasbro, uh, two full waves as well as a pipeline review of figures that are coming in the future. Uh, so we're going to be going through all these figures, Joe and I are going to be talking about them, giving you guys our thoughts and then we're going to let you know if it's a cop or drop. Yeah, I'm, I'm very excited for this, uh, yeah, let's get, let's get right into it. And make sure you guys play along at home, let us know which of these figures are cops for you, which of them are drops, we want to hear your thoughts and make sure you smash that like button. If you enjoy this video and you want to see us keep doing this series and of course if you're new here make sure you hit that subscribe button we are on the road to 400 subscribers but enough talking let's get right into these figures we're going to start with the rogue one wave this was a bit of a surprise to me what about you yeah same like uh i do know a bunch of these characters were already made so i, mm. I did not expect this uh especially with the other wave that was uh dropped on the same day right, right. so very cool, very cool to see though. Yeah, it kind of reminded me of what they did with the Rebels figures, because we had most of those already, uh, and then when the new okay. packaging got announced, we kind of got updated face sculpts, like I know for Sabine Wren, uh, some of the other ones as well, we kind of got that whole wave. Uh, I think Zeb was a new figure, because we do have new sculpts, there are new figures in this wave. Yes. Um, yeah. But yeah, so I'll go through all these figures. So we're getting Jin Erso, Cassian Andor, K2SO, we're getting Chirrut, Faze Malbus, Bodhi Rook, Antok Merrick, and Jin Erso's father, Galen Erso. Uh, so which of these figures was a really a standout for you here, Joe? Uh, for me, honestly, like the main, the main characters for me, yeah. I, I like the whole wave in general. It would be awesome to collect the whole wave, but uh, Obviously, Jenner, so I, I really like. Obviously, we got the new Ondor show coming out. Yeah. So he, he'll, he'll be a much bigger character and cool character to have. I also do like the K2SO yeah. as well. Uh, he's he a great, great character, obviously, part of Rogue One. So, and he looks he looks pretty clean. So, he does. yeah, those three those three would, would be my uh, top three that, that stood out to me. Yeah. What about you? Like you said, the main characters, if I was going to get any of them, uh, I get Jin, Cassian, and K2SO, um, mm -hmm. just because I'm I'm not gonna get this whole wave, um, yeah. especially yeah. because uh, Hasbro sort of been upping the price of their figures. <laughs> yeah. I don't yeah. know what these guys are on. Apparently, they're not making enough money. Um, you and I have talked about this though. Like at first, yes. it was in yeah. Canada, twenty nine ninety nine. Then it went up yeah. to thirty two ninety nine, and now the last pre orders we just made thirty four ninety nine. So yes, Hasbro, I don't know what you're doing. Please stop it. Especially when you're not rich, you're not yeah. you're not the wealthiest kids, you're still in school, whatnot, right? In the first place, it's tough to pick and choose which figures you want, but as yeah. the prices go up, it makes it even more. Yeah. Uh, All yeah. right, so it is time to play Copper Drop, so we'll go one at a time, and you All let right. me know, Copper Drop, I'll do the same. So let's start with the main character of this movie, Jyn Erso. This is a Copper Drop. I do really like her character uh, in Rogue One. Rogue One, one of my favorite uh, Star Wars movies. Yeah. Um, definitely the best out of the new Disney movies, in my opinion, mm -hmm. but uh, Jyn Erso, yeah, great character. I would, I would love to have her. She's a cop for me. What about you? Yeah, Jyn Erso. If I was gonna get any of these, she would be the one. Like I said, so yeah, yeah Jyn Erso, that's a cop. Yeah. All right, so Cassian right. Andor, copper drop. Cassian Andor, I, I honestly, I'm gonna have to say a cop. I, I thought his character was awesome in uh, Rogue One, and then we got the show coming out. I'm very excited for that show. I know there's a lot of people who are like on the fence about it, not, mm -hmm. not the most excited about that one with the obviously with those other shows we got coming but i'm very excited for it i'm very excited to see more of that character and more uh and just learn more about him so i think he'd be a cop for me what about you this is a tough one i'm kind of on the fence on this one i'm gonna say a drop for Cassian and right, Andrew. i don't right. think this would be a pickup for me personally uh, i do like the character just of all of them not my not my top at the top for me all right so how about the droid k2so is this a cop or drop for you this one, honestly, I think, see, I, I think I, with with me saying cop, with the other two uh, main characters, mm -hmm. he's probably the third most main character in this wave. So for me, honestly, I'd have to say a cop. I, I like the, the look of K2SO yeah. also. So yeah, I'm going to have to say cop for him. What about you? I think this is a cop for me as well. Probably either him or Jin were my favorite characters in the movie. He was actually really yeah. funny. Lo like yeah. you said, love the design of him. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, I think this would be a call for me. Yeah, All right, good. next up we have Chirrut Imwe. I think I'm saying that right, maybe not. 
um, <laughs> but he so. was the the blind guy. Um, yes, who yes. was sort of force sensitive. I, I've been thinking about this as we've been going through these. I I, I think this character is a cop for me. Okay. Honestly, in the movies. He's a pretty sick character in my he opinion. Is. He's got obviously the force sensitive, right? I don't know, something about him. He's, he's got a cool look to him too. So yeah. I think I would cop, honestly. I think I'm in agreement on this one. This would be a cop for me as well. For all the points you just said, looks great. Uh, really cool character. I think he'd look uh, great on my shelf behind me. So how about his boy here, Baze Malbus, the big fella? No, he, him, he's probably the only drop out of this <laughs> wave for me. Okay. Uh, I don't know. In the movie, he wasn't a character that stood out to me. I didn't really love him. Yeah. He was just kind of there for me. He's got a cool look to him and everything, obviously, but I don't know. Just for me, I, I, I would probably pass on this character. What about you? Yeah, I think same thing here. That's a, that's a drop for me. This is a big wave. A ton of yeah, it is. Uh, it figures. Is. Um, so if you were sort of prioritizing the best characters, I think he just misses the cut. So yeah, this would be a drop for me as well. All right, so how about Bodie Rook? It's a copper drop. Um, that's also probably another drop for me. Mm. He's got some cool parts in the movie and whatnot, but not not the most memorable character for me. And uh, yeah, I just don't think I would pick him up if it was right in front of me. Yeah, uh, like, yeah, I definitely me. definitely gonna agree on that one as well as a drop for me. This just kind of feels like a filler figure. Uh, okay, so last two here, we've got Antok Merrick and Galen Urso. Uh, I'll kind of group these two in. I'm assuming for both of us, for me for sure. These are both drops. Uh, no real interest in these figures. I think you had to be—you'd have to be like a super huge fan of this movie, which I know people are. I know there's some huge Rogue One fans who would want to get every character possible, um, yep. but this is an easy drop for me. How about you? Yeah, they're probably both drops for me, especially the Antok uh, Merrick is his last name, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just—I don't even really remember him that much in the Same. movie. Galen Erso. He's kind of got a generic sculpt. I don't think I would really want him either, to be honest. Yeah. Doesn't even really fit with the group anyway, so. So that does it for the Rogue One wave. Like I said at the beginning of this video, let us know down in the comments below which of these figures you guys would pick up and uh, let's move on to the archive wave. All right, so yeah, starting with this archive wave, I'm gonna start with the 501st Clone Trooper. Uh, now this one was probably, this one seems more, uh, actually I wouldn't say this one's the filler. I'd say Revan's probably yeah, the filler. Yeah, this but, is a really um, solid wave. This this is a really good wave, yes. Uh, would you cop or drop here? The 501st Clone yeah, Trooper. Yeah, I mean, I feel like we've talked about wanting 501st Troopers a lot on this channel, so I feel like I have to say cop. Um, when it comes down mm -hmm. to it, when I actually see this wave in the store, will I pick it up? I'm still sort of maybe 50-50 on it. I'm not going to pre-order him. Um, but for this video, I'm going to say he's a cop. Uh, I'm happy to see we're finally getting more 501st Troopers. Uh, we didn't mention it in this video, but we actually there is actually a new pre-order for Captain Rex, uh, which was kind of yes, random. Yes. Uh, so I have him pre-ordered. So he me would look too. great with Rex. Um, but yeah, this is a cop for me. How about you? Yeah, I agree with everything you just said. Uh, this is probably a cop for me. I'm not going to go out of my way and pre-order it, but yeah. like I'm on the fence if I see it in the store, whether I'm going to pick it up or not. The thing is, I think it would be cool to get a couple of these guys, for especially sure. with the... the the Clone Wars Anakin yeah. coming in yeah. soon. It'd be awesome to have a couple clones uh, with Rex behind them. So, yeah, yeah that, I, I've just been thinking about that with these, with this, uh, with this figure. So, For sure. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. On to the next figure. This one is the one that seems more like a filler, but it's still a pretty, pretty sick character. Yeah. I don't really know much about the character. I'm pretty sure he's part of the Knights of the Old Republic games. Yeah. But uh, this is Darth Revan. Yeah. Uh, is this a cop or drop for you? To me, just like you just said, I don't know too much about him. Um, so this is gonna be a drop for me. I did find this weird of all the figures in this wave because mm -hmm. I feel like we just got him not that long ago. He was, a, I believe, a gaming grades game, exclusive yeah, at yeah, GameStop and so. EB Games. So yeah. why they're already archiving him, it couldn't have been more than two years. Uh, I don't know exactly, but um, anyways, I'm sure some people are happy, some people who missed out on him. Um, but yeah. yeah, I don't really know too much about them. Never played those games, so it's a drop for me. Yeah, it's probably it's probably a drop for me. I'd have to learn more about the character. Yeah, uh, I have seen like rumors of him showing up in live action on Disney right. Disney Plus show or something. Yeah. But uh, 
which would be awesome. Uh, yeah, I just don't know enough about the character to cop him, but I, I mean, if I did, I feel like it would be a cop just because his yeah. look is pretty dope, eh? oh, He's got sure. a pretty good, yeah. uh, pretty sick different look. different color lightsabers. Yeah, yeah the purple sweet. and red, that's, yeah. yeah. On to the next character. We got two more left in this archive wave. Yes, sir. And the first one we're gonna talk about is Leia Organa in her princess outfit from yeah. episode four. Yeah, so what do you have to say about this one? Is this a cop or drop for you? Well, to all of our OG subscribers who watched our very first video, which was our yeah. uh, wish list for this year, uh, I had this on my list, I believe, as well as the next figure, or you had the next yeah, one on your well. list. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so we've both been waiting for this figure. Uh, really excited that we finally have it uh, like renewed as, a, as an archive wave figure with that updated head sculpt. Uh, this figure looks amazing. This is an easy cop for me. I've actually already pre-ordered it, as I know you have as well. Yes. Uh, so yeah, I can't wait to get her uh, up on the shelf here behind me. Yeah, Leia, definitely a cop for me. That's probably my favorite skin of Leia in all the movies of Star Wars. <laughs> favorite skin? <laughs> Outfit, yeah. <laughs> Uh, Battlefront. I'm used to the Battlefront okay, skins, but um, the thing is too, I got the the Han and Luke in the, the Stormtrooper yeah. outfit, so that's gonna yeah. look perfect, uh, perfect yeah. with those two guys, so I'm very excited for this one. Yeah, for sure. Yep. Alright, on to the last figure in this archive wave. Now, this is a pretty, pretty awesome figure, been long awaited, uh, and that is Obi-Wan Kenobi from Episode 3, yes, Revenge sir. of the Sith. Uh, so, I'm sure everybody knows your answer to this, yeah. but uh, you want to give it anyway? Yeah, this is an easy call for me. I've been wanting this figure. Probably my most anticipated figure ever since we got Ahsoka. She probably was it before that. Um, but can't wait to pose him up uh, Anakin from Episode 3 as well. Yeah. Uh, looks great. Uh, I feel like this is kind of like a full circle moment for us because when we first started getting the Black Series, we saw... Uh, the yeah. original one at a comic book oh store, God. and you almost picked it up, kind of regretted it, but here he is now. Uh, yeah, easy cop for me. Uh, for me now, uh, I'm like, it, obviously, I'm gonna say cop, yeah. but for me, I'm, I'm on the fence with if I'm gonna, I haven't pre ordered it yet. Right. I'm on the fence with uh, whether I want to or not because, mm -hmm. you know, I got the Clone Wars, Anakin, and Obi Wan. Yeah. You know, these figures aren't cheap. Yeah, so. For sure. I do already have the episode 3 Anakin, which makes it tough. I kind of want yeah. that episode 3 Obi-Wan as well. So this one I'm going to have to think about. It's definitely a cop uh, in my books, but yeah, I'm yeah, going to have to think about this one because i uh, got those Clone Wars ones I'd, I'd much rather have in my collection. And yeah. I, I don't know. I don't really need doubles in the collection, but we'll right. see. We'll see. All right. Yeah. So that is the archive wave. So we've got one last section for this video. Uh, and this is something Hasbro has started to do recently, and that is called Pipeline Reveals. Uh, so we don't actually get a look at any of these figures, but here's the image they released during their live stream. Uh, you guys will see it on the screen here. And it is six figures, supposedly a full wave, uh, that we'll be getting at some point this year. So I'll run through them really quickly. We're going to be getting a Jetta Patrol Stormtrooper, okay. Bib Fortuna, uh, Mayfield from The Mandalorian, Fennec, from the Mandalorian. We're getting the Nomad version of Boba Fett. And then the last one to round out the wave is Cobb Vanth, uh, I would assume in Boba Fett's armor. So Ooh, yeah. first off, Joe, before we get into talking about these figures, how do you feel about this whole pipeline reveal? Uh, do you feel like it kind of spoils the eventual reveal? And the other thing that we've already sort of talked about is, are they making too many figures? Because we just got two full waves and now they're already talking about another one, so I don't. I don't mind the pipeline reveals. Uh, yeah, like they're they're cool. I would I would rather just see pictures of the figures yeah. when they drop, like like how these Rogue One ones just came out of nowhere. I'm pretty right. sure. Yeah, making too many figures. Uh, I'm personally gonna have to say yes. It's just yeah. not all of them uh, I was gonna plan on getting anyway. But like there, there's a like certain point where you gotta relax a bit, you know. Yeah. They're just it just feels like they're taking my money every yeah. every oh. month or whatever. <laughs> And it's just it's just tough with the all the figures I want to get, you know, can't can't get them all right So yeah. like I mean you can't make too many, but yeah, I, I don't know spread them out a bit more Yeah, if, is what I would say. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that for sure Just kind of felt like when they revealed all this it was kind of like overwhelming like I would love yeah. to get some of these Rogue One figures I'm not going to no, uh, me Just simply it's not in the budget, you know, there are other lines of yes. figures that I'm collecting uh, exactly. There's so many black series. We were sort of at a point where we have to prioritize um, and I mean, looking at these pipeline reveals, I'd love to get Boba Fett and Cobb Vanth, Mayfield, Fennec. I'd honestly love to get all of these. I'd love to have them yeah, all. If they were honestly, free, I'd take them all. Oh, 100%, um, yeah. But, you know, it's like, 
we're now we're looking at we're talking about thirty five dollars Canadian plus tax per figure. Yeah. It adds shipping up really quickly. And everything, yeah. right? Shipping when you pre-order. Exactly. Right? Yeah. So it's, it's tough. It's tough out here. So uh, let's go through these one at a time. Talk about copper drops. So let's start with the trooper, the Jetta Patrol Stormtroopers. Is a copper drop for you? Uh, this one probably a drop for me. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not really into like the troopers like that. I haven't really collected too many. I'm more into like army building the clones, yeah. if anything, right? So I I think it's a draw for me. What about you? Yeah, it's gonna be a draw for me as well. Mm -hmm. um, I do like the trooper with the little orange patch on the shoulder but uh nothing special with all the cool stuff we're getting so yes it dropped for me all right how about bib fortuna one of the weirdest characters i'd say in the star wars universe yeah it's a, copper drop. a weird, weird character but yeah. i honestly think it would be a cop yeah uh, okay. yeah i think i think it would be i'm probably not gonna end up buying it but yeah. I, I i do think the character is kind of cool and yeah we, we've seen them recently in the bad batch spoilers yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I, I think I'd purchase him for sure. He's a cool looking character, in my opinion. Yeah. For me, I feel like this might be a drop. Um, yeah. He does yeah. look cool, but uh, if we had a uh, job of the hut, it might be a different. Uh, yeah. A different That's answer true. for me. Um, but just him on his own, I was super interested in. So it's a drop. All right. All right. All right. Let's get into some of these Mandalorian characters. I guess That's these all cool. could technically be from the Mandalorian. Right? Yeah, yeah, I think uh, so. So, but this could be a full Mandalorian wave. Uh, but how about Mayfield? This is a copper drop for you. This one's tough. Like, yeah. I, I do, I do really like the character in the show. I thought he was great in the yeah. show. Um, I do feel like he's gonna show up again in Boba Fett, the Book of Boba, or something. But uh, I'm gonna say drop on this one. I'm gonna say drop. I am gonna say drop too. Like you said, I really like the character. But thinking about what he's gonna look like as a black series. I don't know yeah. if it's going to be super exciting, <laughs> yeah. uh, so it's going to be a drop for me. All right, a character from The Mandalorian that we also, again, spoilers that we just saw in one of the more recent episodes of The Bad Batch, and that yes. is Fennec Shand. Easy cop. Oh, this one, this one's a cop. Uh, yeah, yeah well, when it when it does uh, get officially announced, like the the figure and whatnot, mm -hmm. or up for pre order, or whatever, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna get her. Yeah. Uh, I thought her Bad Batch episode was unreal, yeah. in my opinion. She was great in that. And then obviously in Mando too, she was great, and we're gonna see more of her in Boba. So, yeah. and I I love her look too. I love that little uh, helmet she's helmet, got going. Yeah, yeah I, I like I like her look too. So definitely a cop for me. What about you? Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be a cop for me as well. We'll see when we actually see the figure. That's kind of the tough thing with these pipeline that, reveals. That is true. Um, so we'll see. Uh, I don't know if it'll be like a day one pre-order for me, but I feel like if I saw this on the shelf in the store. It'd be an easy pickup for me. So yeah, Fennec is a cop for sure. All right, last two figures here, starting with Nomad Boba Fett. Kind of disappointed we didn't get an armored Boba Fett, but I mean, I guess we've gotten like a million of those from the OG yes. trilogy. Uh, so cool that we're getting a, a bit of a different version. Uh, is this a cop or drop for you? This one, uh, I, I'd say it's a cop. I think we, one of us, maybe both of us had it in one of our wishes yeah. mm -hmm. uh, back in one of our earlier videos. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I do like that look a lot, but I, I don't even have an armored Boba, so I don't even know if I'm gonna pick this one up. Yeah. I, I do want I do want one with the armor, so I'm, yeah. I'm sure they'll make one another one for the book of Boba Fett. Yeah, but yeah, I'd still I'd still say this is a cop for me. What about you? Yeah, I'll say this is a cop for me as well. It's cool to see him in this outfit. What kind of wasn't expected when we first saw him, yeah, uh, like that in this Nomad version. Uh, I think it'd look good as a Black Series figure, so yeah, that's a call for me. All right, our last figure here, and that is Cobb Vanth, the guy who we kind of originally thought was Boba Fett when he first yeah, strolled yeah. into that uh, that saloon there. So this is a cop or drop for you? Uh, this one's probably a drop for me. Okay. Uh, I found the character all right. He was yeah. pretty cool, but uh, yeah, nothing nothing too special about him. Don't really need another character in that Boba armor, yeah. in my opinion. 